All right, this is a uh, pull to the darkness for color change. So this is pull to the darkness on demand, and this has the power up and cool down effects added. Um, so you can get the other one. This is for cross guard. Um, so there'll be separate styles for the main blade and blades two and three, which are your side blades. Um, so since this is on demand, when you first ignite, this one's gonna start off in Ben Solo's blue. And with power up, actually, uh, I didn't say it, but uh, with power up, when I first ignite, there'll be a burst of power up the blade. So you'll see that. And then the blade will settle in. And then now cool down on retraction, there'll be a cool down effect. And it goes pretty quick on these. Um, and then with cool down, there's a second cool down, and that's after you do a lockup. So if you do a, for, a regular localized lockup, after I let it go, the blade will settle back into itself. Or if I do a force lightning lockup, the blade will settle back into itself. And now since this is pulled to the darkness, when I go into the on-demand, uh, the on-the-fly color change, this will actually go from Ben Solo's blue to Kylo Ren's unstable. So that's the pull to the darkness. And now this will run at Kylo Ren's unstable blade. And again, it's got the localized lockup with the cooldown. It's got force lightning lockup with the cooldown. And then when I do uh, retract on this blade, it'll also have a cooldown effect. And since this is on demand, it will stay in red until I decide to redeem Kylo and then it will switch back to blue. And then that rotates back into blue and it'll run just the same. So you can keep going back and forth as often as you like with this uh, on-demand capability. And you've got those power up and cool down effects added. So these are available on the library. There's several starting colors. Um, they all go from the starting color to the unstable red. Um, so that's what pull to the darkness essentially is.